the essence of which is we can never really hate someone without first having loved them or at least cared for them. Sometimes I think our frustration is born out of a confusion. There's, there's a confusion in the way that the things that we love and the things that we hate are often linked. Tommy, do you have any feedback? Sure. Um, yeah, sure. The, the, no, uh, the notion that anger per se is a bad thing, I would say respectfully, is horseshit. Uh, if General MacArthur's reaction to uh, Pearl Harbor had been to go and find a quiet place and do some deep breathing, you'd be goose stepping into this meeting today. It'd be a great big eagle on the wall. OK. Do you want to talk about love and hate, maybe? Because, uh, understandably, I think there can be some confusion. There again, you see, I, think, um, I, think there's, I don't think there's any confusion, because uh, things are love and hate couldn't be more different. Um, I love my daughter, love my Mustang, my girlfriend, uh, love the way Eno can paint a picture with music, um, descending arpeggios, rather reminiscent of falling autumn leaves. Uh, but I fucking hate my ex-wife. And that may change, but right now it's been modus operandi. And I'm going to leave now for two reasons. Uh, one, I don't want to lose my tempo, which I think you'll agree shows some growth. And uh, two, uh, this clown's just let one go. Don't deny it. Tommy. Tommy. Come back, I may have a pop at you. <laughs>